Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm just kind of doing a little experimentation study. I am using a handmade watercolor that I bought from the Etsy shop Poems About You. I've never used handmade watercolors before, so my main purpose with this piece, this video today, is to kind of see how much variation and value I can get from just using one color. They're pretty, well, I wouldn't say expensive because I've seen the process of making handmade water watercolors and so they deserve to be a bit pricey because it's a really long process to make them and it takes a lot of care. But anyway, since the fair price is still like a little bit much, I only got one for this. Um, and decided like, okay, let me just make a simple image since it's October, I figured a fun, spooky little skeleton and really just playing with the shading can probably help me achieve like what I was trying to. So tried to play around with light source, um, which in general is something that I've been meaning to get better at. I think that I have a tendency to just do really flat light sources. And as I continue to grow as an artist, um, shading is something that I want to get better at, like having different dramatic light sources. And um, I used a few different references for this. Uh, just to kind of see like how do shadows fall on skulls from different angles. I had heard in like different reviews that handmade watercolors can be pretty like granular or granulated and I thought I knew what that meant. This was quite granulated. I actually enjoyed the texture though, particularly for this piece. It gave it a very like spooky, rustic, um, earthy look. Um, and I think that it added some personality to it that very, very smooth watercolors would probably not have achieved the same results for. So it was a very fun medium to use and it made me want to get some more because I feel like I started immediately thinking about other images that would benefit from that type of like personality and character. It was fun trying to experiment with value. Uh, and like lightness to darkness because that's also not typically something that I have done a lot of um, just using the same color to get like really wide ranges of shades I don't know why that seems pretty basic that's just not something that I've had to do much of I usually just have like the base tone and then like the shadow but having like a wash where I cover the entire page and then like the floor that it's sitting on is like a little bit darker and then the skeleton the skull has a bunch of different shades and then like the darkest parts making those like very saturated uh it was just a really fun process and I feel like I just like it was a good study for me because um I, did, I also didn't really consider how many like grooves and um different shades would be on the skull itself so it was a fun it was a fun study and i mean it definitely made me want to buy more <laughs> of the handmade watercolors eventually i want to make my own but that feels more like a long-term goal because it is a long process and for potentially really unsatisfying results the materials can be pricey but you know just thinking about like how satisfying it must feel to paint a picture and every single color in the picture is made out of a paint that you made yourself. It just feels like, you know, you would have a totally different relationship to the piece. So eventually I do hope to get into paint making myself 
but I'm saving that for later. Uh, whenever I have an impulse to like start a new uh, expensive hobby, I kind of sit on it and I'm like, if I still want to do this in like a year, <laughs> then I'll start <laughs> buying materials for it. And as I am making this video, it's actually coming up on a year since I first really started wanting to make my own paints. So, um, yeah, stay tuned on that. I'm thinking around like January, probably for no reason. I am just an extremely type A person and like to set those goals. But anyway. The color that I got from Poems About You is called Red Earth, by the way, for anyone who is interested in this color or like wants to add to their own watercolor or handmade watercolor collection. Uh, it's called Red Earth. Mine actually came broken. The paint was broken uh, and like not really in the pan, but it was fine because as you can see, it's still usable. The top was still in one piece just something that was for some reason um it was broken apart from the base so i have this top layer of like solid watercolor paint and then it's separated from the bottom which is connected to the pan i don't know if that makes sense it really wasn't a huge deal um and it doesn't say much about the quality of paint it might have just been something that happened during shipping so, um, obviously still usable, still enjoyable, but still noteworthy, I guess. So here is the final result. I had a lot of fun with it. I really enjoyed the texture and I really recommend if anyone wants to buy their own handmade watercolors. So thanks for spending this time with me, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.